What's up guys? So since my last like four videos have been demonetized, three or four, whatever it is, uh, somebody asked me about grilling questions and I'm gonna make something today that's kind of normal, but kind of not. And I don't know if y'all thought about this or not, but my buddy at work told me I should try this and I'm gonna try it. Let me show you how I do this grilling thing. I'm no expert, but this might be good. Check this out. Okay, if you don't have one of these, you need to get it if you use charcoal. This is like a little chimney thing. You put your charcoal in there. I bought these little things inside. I'll show you what they are. You just stick them underneath there, light them, and then the flame makes it burn, and you can see right there it's getting hot, and then once it gets all the way to the top, what we do next is we bring it over here, and I'll put it in the grill. I get these little things flying around there. It'll probably go right back in there, but I put it in the grill. It's already greased up and stuff. I'll just take these out and pour it in there. Let me take you inside and show you what's different that you may not have thought of. And at the end, I'll tell you if it's good or not. Okay, check this out. So we're actually just taking some ground beef here and uh, browning it good. And what are we going to do with this? Well, we are going to make chili out of bold manwich. So what I'm making outside is hot dogs. I'm just using ballpark hot dogs. We'll make some chicken for next week at work as well but i'm making hot dogs and then the chili i'm going to be using is bold manwich he said this is amazing i made manwiches last night he was like you should have extra so make chili out of it but i ate the extra for lunch so i'm actually going to just make more of it and then i'll have extra manwich or extra chili whichever way i want to do it these are the things i told you about that you stick underneath the little chili thing this look like this. You just stick them underneath it, light them, and then uh, that is how you do it. Okay, one thing I did different with this than I do regular manwich is I usually leave my manwich a little bit chunkier. This I actually chopped up thinner because it's going to be, um, it's going to be, oh crap, hang on Okay, so this I chopped up a little thinner because it's going to be, um, chili and I like to strain it. I do not like a bunch of grease in my manwich. Some people don't, some people do. I do have hot water running so that grease when it goes in there it doesn't get like hardened in the pipe. So I do have hot water. I'll let that run for several minutes. I don't know how y'all do it. That's how I do it. And I don't have any issues but you can see right there. Um, finally chopped. So let me get this strained. We'll put it back on the face. Okay, now that we got it strained, we'll just pour the manwich bold into the skillet, like so. Make sure it all comes out. Water's still running over there, in case you're wondering. And then uh, you just mix it up real good in with it. It's hard to do one-handed. Not sure I can even do this one-handed. Uh, but just mix it up good. And once I get this done, I'll let it simmer until I get the hot dogs done, because I want to make this first because this will take longer than the hot dogs will. So once I get the hot dogs on the grills, I'll see you back in a second. Okay, this is the hot part. I don't know how hot this handle is. It's not terrible. It's not completely all the way at the top, but we're gonna go ahead and pour these in. Be very careful. Right like that right there. And then I usually go set this back out here for it to cool off. All right, y'all, here's how it come out. I cooked the chicken a little bit longer because it was still a little frozen. It was in the refrigerator all night, but it was still a little frozen. So I cooked it about 15 or 16 minutes, just to be sure. Hot dogs were probably on there about, I don't know, six or eight minutes. It was probably about 400 degrees. But first things first is, I don't know about you all, but Buddy always gets his hot dog before anyone else gets their hot dog. Here you go, little fella. He's blind. We have to kind of help him. And we chop it up in little bitty pieces because uh, he's real bad about swallowing stuff whole. So let me go fix mine. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, hot dogs with manwich, the bowl manwich. I did put some cheese on it, some Cape Cod uh, kettle cooked sweet mesquite barbecue chips. So we're having wieners and cod tonight, I guess. That's, that's horrible. But um, So let me turn the camera around. Let me taste this, see how it is. I'll give him all this to me. All right, first bites, and this is probably gonna go everywhere because it's overloaded, but we're gonna find out. Oh my gosh. 
That's crazy. That is so good. I don't know why I'd ever thought of this before. Manwich as chili for hot dogs is amazing. It's probably gonna be messy, but the bold is awesome. You all should try this. You may have already tried it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section if you have. Let me know if you got any more ideas like this right here. Let me try it on the channel. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.